Good day, Domic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday, April 6th, and we are headed down to Pickering, Ontario. Some of you might be from there. I know for a fact that some of you live in that area. Ajax, Pickering, Oshawa. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard anybody mention Oshawa in a comment, but I've heard Pickering and Ajax and uh, something called Toronto. <laughs> uh, somebody also mentioned they wanted to do a meetup in Barrie. Uh, if you want to figure out a location and a day, that would be good. Uh, the problem is everybody's schedules are so out of tune with each other. So we don't always have all the same schedules, but if we can find a location, I'm totally down for that. Even if we all went to a movie together or something, that would be kind of cool. But then who do you sit beside? Let's say 10 people show up. Certain people want to sit beside certain people, but there's only like rows. So I think, I don't think a movie would be a good idea because then you're just sitting there watching the movie, no talking, nothing, right? So going to a restaurant or like, there's a restaurant uh, in Barrie called Williams. It's a coffee place, cafe. Uh, there's also a place downtown, uh, Barrie, and it's, uh, another cafe kind of place and it's really nice for sitting around and having like a, a meetup greeting whatever uh, Anyway, so if you're thinking about it, let me know and we'll try and get something together I don't want to do a meetup with one person. I want to do a meetup with like 10. So if we can get Something going where we can somehow figure out how many people are going that would be awesome And then my then I'll do one in Toronto again, and we'll just like Again, try to get as many people as we can to meet up and talk. I love talking with you guys. It's fun in person as opposed to me making a vlog and waiting 24 hours to put it up to find a response to the things I'm saying. It's weird. It's a very, very weird life. Anyway, so I'm heading down in this crap right now. Normally, I wouldn't want to venture out, but we have put this off way too many times. Uh, I think I first started talking to Kelly about this, I don't know, two months ago. I said, I've got a really good idea for another poutine song. And uh, he liked the idea. And uh, then he got sick. And then his kids got sick. And then it got back to him. And it's one of these uh, crappy illnesses that stays with you for like months. And uh, so, today's the day it just has to be because I, I wanted to do it and then he got better <laughs> and then uh, the guys from Southampton England came and uh, we couldn't do it then either so I had to postpone it another week so this is a week Arr! something happened last week because it's been two weeks since the boys have been here so we were going to do it last week and then something happened and I can't remember what it was I think it was it was uh, Kelly again uh, couldn't do it. Might have been me. Anyway, so today's the day, and unfortunately, it's a freaking snow day uh, for me. This is a snow day here in Canada. I don't know what the hell's going on. April showers bring May flowers. Not April snowy shit weather brings May flowers. I swore. Sorry. All right, guys, I'm turning around because, as you can see, somebody's in the ditch right there. Uh, I just talked to Kelly. And uh, he's not, he's still got a, like a bit of a sore throat, which is perfect. I'm so glad he phoned me. I, I texted him through my hands-free texting option on my phone, Siri. And uh, basically just said, hey, you know, how's the weather down there? Because if it's like this down there, then, you know, maybe we should call it off. Because this is just stupid, dumbass weather. And uh, I took my seatbelt off because I was thinking I was gonna get out of the car. Yeah, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw what I saw. And I'm driving really slow right now. Anyway, that guy's turning, but I'm gonna sit here and make sure. Oh, so it's canceled. I think Carol will be happy that it's canceled. I'm happy that it's canceled in a way. I'm, I'm disappointed, but wow, why? <laughs> no, it's funny is when I have like a big family function to my house, this happens. 
this has happened so many times because people you know we live about an hour an hour and a half away from most of my family and so when we have a family function you know they all have to come and converge uh, and anytime we have a family function at my house snowstorm I can't remember how many times we've had snowstorms and it would happen halfway here so everybody would show up we'd have the snowstorm and everybody had to struggle to get home so and I guess the only time we have family functions here is during the winter time so anyway I'll see you back at the house people I'm alive though I'm alive I figured while I'm out and about I am going to zip over to the uh, post office because I got a notice saying that there's a parcel there and I don't recall anybody sending me another parcel um, but since I'll be home today uh, I guess I will shoot a product review fan mail product review from the Netherlands uh, apparently he is uh, staying in Florida for a few months or whatever and I guess he brought stuff with him from the Netherlands and then mailed it from there to here uh, I'm not sure if it was cheaper that way or whatever but uh, yeah uh, maybe I'll shoot that today since I have time bonus time made it to Lafroy. I'm so glad I put my winter boots away jeez and I still haven't changed my tires on my car so I still got my snow tires on good move but who knew who knew from the Americas, Heartland. Love your videos and your vlog. I doubt if you'll ever get to my neck of the woods uh, of the Kansas City area, but we'll try and find you if you ever do. Aw, thanks, Melanie. I appreciate that. Thanks. Package from Muskoka Bearware. Oh my goodness. I love clothing. Especially when I don't have to go shopping for it. And it just comes in the mail. <laughs> it's the best. All right, let's go home and check out our new clothing. And we're home as quick as that could take. Actually, I've already been home. Oh, shush. I've already been home for a bit. Just to walk the dog. That's why my glasses are transitioned to the color that they are. Uh, and that's just to help with your eyes and you don't have to switch to sunglasses but it takes a while for them to back off from this shade of purple. <laughs> I wish they went black instead of purple. I think I've talked to you guys about this before. I'm just going to adjust my camera so that we can get down and open this package from Muskokia Berwera. <laughs> All right, it's going to be hard to open. I don't want to use my knife because it will, I just might have to. If I cut my clothing, I'm going to freak. Oh, it's supposed to be a tear off thing. It looks like I saw the perforation, but it ain't perforating. Not very well. There it goes. What did the people that Muskoka Bearwear give me? Oh boy. Oh boy. And a letter. So I got a Muskoka Bearwear. I guess you can use this for pretty much anything but groceries. I, it's the first thing that comes to mind. Carol will love another grocery bag. And I got a very cool pair of Muskoka Bearwear socks. Very cool. Perfect time for winter. Black Muskoka Bearwear track pants. I've got the gray ones and I've almost worn them out in two months that I've got them. I wear them 
around the house pretty much every day. And the hoodie I wear anytime I sit down to watch a movie because it's just it all bundle yourself up. You don't need a blanket. You just wear Muskoka Bearwear stuff. There's a nice pants and another hoodie. And the other one I have is the dark gray. So this is the light gray. And this is a perfect day to put it on. I should read the letter because they might say, hey, that's for Carol. <laughs> Too bad, it's all mine. Do I look gangsta? Gangsta enough for you. Check it out. Got some Muskoka Bearwear stickers to jam on my car. You can bear, it's, just, it's white, that's why you can't see it properly. And they sent me a letter too. I'd like to thank you. Thank you, thank you. We really enjoy all your content as well as all the support you have given the brand. We really appreciate we really appreciate seeing you enjoy wearing our Muskoka Bear wear and wanted to wanted you to have some more. Well, thank you very much. And uh, as Kevin and Mark are the owners, thank you very much, guys. We also included a pair of custom Ontario made socks. Oh, they're custom made. How did you guys get my foot measurement? Probably one size fits all. Uh, we also included a pair of custom Ontario made socks from our Socks for Sick Kids uh, initiative. Very cool. So this is helping out Sick Kids Hospital. I didn't notice that when I first looked at it. That is so awesome that you guys are supporting Sick Kids. That's super awesome. I want to do stuff with Sick Kids too. Uh, please wear them with pride and know every pair we sell in stores and online will donate all the proceeds to Sick Kids Foundation. Uh, enjoy. Hope to see you in Muskoka this summer. Cheers, Mark and uh, Kevin. Muskoka Bearwood. They got a store in Bracebridge, Huntsville, Gravenhurst, Port Carling, and Bala. And of course, you can go online anywhere. And uh, Authentic Cottage Comfy since 2003. Truly Canadian made. Nice. I look so gangsta. Thank you once again, uh, Muskoka Bearwear. This is awesome. Uh, again, guys, if you want to order a pair of socks and uh, help out Sick Kids Children's Hospital, Sick Kids Hospital, then uh, that would be fantastic. 100% of the proceeds, he said, didn't he? He just said all the proceeds. Oh, please wear them with pride and know that every pair we sell in stores on and online, we donate all the proceeds to Sick Kids Foundation. So guys, get on it, order some socks, say hi to Kevin and Mark for me, tell them Ken sent you from KBD Productions TV, Ken's Vlogs, I'd really appreciate that. The kids at Sick Kids Foundation uh, appreciate it also because they get all the, all the money to help them out. Wow. Very, very cool. Thank you. It is now 20 after 3, uh, just sitting around going through comments and stuff. I just sent out a picture on the inst on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter about doing a Q&A for tomorrow. I will have time definitely tomorrow to put together that. People have been asking me like crazy to do a Q&A video. It won't be live. It'll just be sending all your qu comments, questions, whatever. Uh, and then I will go through them all, find out which ones I want to respond to, and just to have the camera set up at the desk and I'll go through as many comments as possible and um, answer them. Answer the good questions from the good people. Uh, so the Cook and Review just launched. It's at 700 views so far. Um, and then I just finished editing, uploading, and making sure everything's good to go for the PJ's Crystal Beach Original Loganberry. Uh, thanks to Ryan for sending that uh, or giving me that bottle of Loganberry juice. And uh, that's pretty much it that's happened so far today. And uh, what we'll do is we will continue working because I did all the dishes already thinking that I wasn't going to come home. Uh, I think I was going to be with Kelly all day. So I think I'm going to start, maybe do like half, because I don't want to work anymore today. I'm just like done. Um, 
plus the hair ride out of here. Uh, hair ride. Um, what I want to do is just get about half of Friday's video done, which is the Arby's. Um, it's funny because I don't think the Arby's video is going to be do very well, but every time I think a video is not going to do well, it does really well. So it's the new Arby's Euro, and there's also a screw up where they gave me fries. I didn't want fries. They gave me uh, a, uh, an extra or the same two Euros, which were exactly the same as opposed to one was supposed to be um, turkey and the other one was supposed to be beef. And I only got to do one of the Euros. So, um, yeah, I'll start putting that together. I did only one camera, so hopefully it will speed up the editing. Let's do it. All right, guys, I finished off yesterday's vlog. Carol made uh, fish and uh, some noodly thing and uh, sprouts. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, I hate them, they're yucky. Ugh. I ate about six of them, yuck. And uh, then I watched uh, Cop Out with Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan. Uh, very good movie, it's a, a total recommend uh, to uh, go out and get it now. That's how, that's how much I like that one. Uh, and then I watched an oldie movie from 1988, I think. It was called Red Heat with uh, Jim Belushi and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, and then I just went to bed. And that movie is... Mm, uh, recommend. Love Arnold. And now it's time to have a birthday shoutouts for Thursday, April 7th. And they are... Sam. Chris. Dylan. Richard. Anthony. Jessica, and a soon-to-be member of our family, Mike, who's marrying my cousin Kelly in September, I believe. Yeah, September. Maybe October, even. Uh, yeah, September. Yeah, September. Uh, happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And let us know what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Inquiring minds want to know. Happy birthday.